Looking for an easier way to incorporate library resources into your campus course? Welcome to the UHCL Libraries Faculty Playlist, where today I will show you three easy ways you can incorporate library resources into your campus course. The library has several resources in Canvas that you can easily access and use. By accessing the Creative Commons in Canvas and applying the filter shared with the University of Houston Clear Lake, you will find the UHCL Libraries Welcome Guides. We have created one module for undergraduate and one for graduate students. These resources within the module have been selected based on those students' needs. You can then import or download the module for your own course. Please note that these modules are a very basic level entry into the library's resources and has an embedded library chat that can be accessed during research desk hours. The next resource that we are going to look at is Gale eBooks, which is available to you within your Canvas course under Settings and Navigation. You will then locate Gale eBooks and select the three dot icon, select Enable, and then select save at the bottom of the page. It is important that you don't forget this step as if you do not save your changes, you will not see the Gale eBooks on your navigation side panel. Once you refresh the page, you will locate the Gale eBooks title on the left-hand side. This will allow you and your students to browse our Gale eBook collection without ever having to leave the Canvas course. The last resource I'm going to show you is the collection of our EBSCO databases that can be accessed from the course. This can be used to embed articles from our databases or other resources directly into your course. So this could also include eBooks from our EBSCO databases as well. First, you'll go to the module you would like to add the resource to. Select Add, External Tool, and then EBSCO databases. You can then select the specific database you wish to search, or you can simply select all. Once you find your resource, select add. Next, you can rename the title of the resource that will be added, and you can have it load into a new tab. If you do not select load in new tab, the resource will load directly into the Canvas page. Finally, you'll select add item. Students can then directly access the articles. Thanks for watching.